Okay, so I'm going to show you my mini haul today, and Skipper and Midge are going to help me with some of it. So the first thing that I found was this lid. So it was a just a spare lid to a, some kind of jar, candy jar or something, but it was missing, and all they had was like this area of lids. So when I saw this, I realized, oh, this is definitely a hanging lamp for the dining room in a Barbie house. It's the perfect scale. So with all the design that's in it, I'm just gonna use gallery glass paint and make it look like stained glass. Drill a hole through here, big enough for this chain. And then, sorry about that image. Set you back up. I will just put the chain through the lamp shade and hang it from the ceiling through this. And I will pull the chain through this end and then I will glue it so that way it holds firm. But this is gonna be a very lovely lamp. As you can see, the design in it is very pretty. And I got that at Antiques Ahead. I live on the Eastern Shore of Virginia and I always find really good stuff there. I go there all the time. The second thing I got, I picked up a grab bag in the Christmas department for a dollar. You can't beat Christmas decorations at Antiques Ahead. So this was in it. And I haven't decided what to do with this yet. I may just throw it away. This was in it. And these are all ornaments for trees, for Christmas trees. And I mean, I could see this being like a little baby bed or not. I may just get rid of it. Then this was a bell that I took the bell out of with the hook. And so I wasn't gonna keep this either, but then I thought about, this could be a great little winter hat for a winter outfit during Christmas time. So I think it, <laughs> it might be a little better looking if I tack that in. So maybe that's what I'll do. I will just sew that down and I still think it's a great little hat and it is the perfect size for her head. So we will keep that. But the reason I picked up this bag was, I looked at this and I thought, okay, I have an original Southern Belle plantation hat with the plantation outfit that Barbie had from the 60s. This is the same size, I could tell. So will it fit Barbie perfectly? Yes, I think it will. And it does. How wonderful is that? So look at this, so I can cut this off and I can either just put it on her because it stays on so well, or I can do the little strap, I can sew that in there. But what a lovely, beautiful hat this is. And then, I got this one. Look how pretty this is. It's just beautiful. Again, it's supposed to be a Christmas ornament. So I think what I might do is take these leaves out or I think I may just keep them because I don't want to destroy the hat. How cute is that? And I believe it will fit any one six doll head and it sure does. How cute is that? So Skipper, if you could turn around and show us how good that looks. How adorable is this hat? They fit like I thought they would. Did you just keep falling off? It's too bad you're not a bendable knee. I need to get your footstool. And then last, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous hat. I need to cut this off. Beautiful. And it fits. There we go. How pretty. What a nice set of hats I got. And then we got one more thing for one dollar for all of it. I'm always looking for frames that really look like they go for Barbie. A lot of the little miniature frames you see don't look like Barbie frames. And really, out of the whole bag, there was one in particular. Actually, two. This one, um, it's cute. I feel bad, whoever's family this is. <laughs> they left their family pictures in, and that's kind of sad. But he's coming out. <laughs> And I will use this in some display somewhere. It looks like it's perfect to sit on a dresser. 
So I may just put a mirror in it and make this a mirror. This one, so-so. It's a little big for Barbie. This would be better hung on the wall, so I may need to take this off and put a hook on it and maybe use it to hang on her wall. But this one I think is perfect for a dresser. I can put a picture of Ken in there or her and Ken. I really like that. I think that's a cute one. And the detail on it, you can see how nice it is. It's some kind of, I don't know, iron maybe? It's definitely a metal. So very pretty. But here's the one that really caught my eye. It's got this little velvet back. It's got that stand. This is a perfect size for Barbie's dresser. I feel sorry for whoever that man is. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going to revamp this for Barbie and probably paint this. And I may just paint this white so it looks more like a ceramic frame and put some real tiny little micro flowers on it. Anyway, I got quite the little haul today of Barbie things. And they gave me the lampshade for free, so I spent $2. Can't beat that. <laughs>